something that really works. Welcome and thanks for joining me. I'm Cindy Laverty, and you're listening to The Cindy Laverty Show on CRN National Digital Talk Radio, where each week we talk and explore the subject of care, how we care for ourselves so we can better care for each other. And that includes all aspects of care. I want to get right to the show today because my guest is my caring gift to you. Daphne Rose Kingma is so much more than her bio, and I can tell you this because I've been reading her books. She's an inspirational author of 11 books, which has sold over 2 million copies. She's a relationship coach and a spiritual guide. She's been on Oprah six times in the past, and she is seen regularly on numerous other television shows and travels the world speaking to enlightened audiences, I think. I am blessed to have her join me today. Daphne Rose Kingma, thank you so much for being here. It is just my pleasure. Oh, Cindy, thank you. For me, too, I'm so happy to join you today. Well, it's a perfect way to go into the Memorial Day weekend, I think. And I have to say, your newest book, The Ten Things to Do When Your Life Falls Apart, is possibly the most powerful book that I've read in a very, very long time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that the impact is being had. Well, I don't know whether it's the insight or the poetic way that you have, you know, created this book. A combination of the two is what I think. But when I was reading it, and I read a lot of books for this show, I was sitting outside in my yard and I had tears just streaming down my face because you validated so clearly what I think we all feel when we feel like our lives are falling apart. Mm, Yes. So this is a little bit of a short segment here that we have. So I want you to tell us before we have to go to break, um, the why behind this book. You actually wrote this book for a friend. Yes, I did actually. Um, A friend of mine was having a life that was falling apart. His marriage had ended. He'd lost his job. He'd just been diagnosed with a debilitating and possibly ultimately fatal disease. He'd moved, then he'd had to move again, and he just, you know, cried out to me and and said, every phase of my life is, you know, falling apart, and I don't know what to do. And he asked if he could come and visit me and kind of take sanctuary in the beautiful town that I live in, and I, of course, said yes. Which is Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, (laughs) yes. <laughs> truly the, the truly the gold coast of California. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very blessed to be here and to be able to share it. And anyway, one day after we'd taken a walk in the mountains, he he was saying as we came down, "Hey Daphne, you know, before I go home, what are the 10 things you think I should do to get through all this?" Did that sort of <laughs> knock your socks off? It certainly did <laughs> because I thought, "Oh my goodness, that's like asking me to write a book." But I've written enough books and had enough experience to know that there is often a messenger who kind of, you know, rings the bell and says, it's time and this is the topic. And I really got it that this guy was that messenger. And I, you know, I thought, I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I went home and immediately these things came forward. And I realized, you know, that in a way, he was an emissary. He'd come to say, I'm just one of so many people who are suffering right now. Yeah, and I, I want to talk about that when we come back from the break. So stay with me. You're listening to Cindy Laverty's show on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'll be right back. <laughs> 